Hello everyone, today we have ourselves an FX by AMD. It is the 8320. Oh, sorry, <laughs> didn't have it in frame. Um, this model is exactly like the 8350. Um, they just, they're just clocked differently, so it doesn't really matter because I can clock this myself to the same specs as the um, 8350. So, yeah, um, this is the, how do I say it, the, um, the Zora, if that's how, am I, if I'm pronouncing it right, because it is nowhere on here, the name of the newer processor of the Bulldozer lineup. Um, but yeah, this is the newest one. The newest model, um, it performs very well, actually. I've seen some charts. Um, it's up there with the, with some of the Core i7s. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty impressive. Um, here is the, a box of a Phenom. This is cardboard here. Side-by-side -side comparison. Yep. So, yeah, this is old. Well, not that old, because it's still pretty freaking good. Um, they run on the same type of chips, so, yeah. Uh, right here is the little window where you can see the... Not sure if you can see that. There you go. Where you can see the chip itself, the CPU. So, um, I'm going to take this off. It's nothing special. Right here we have some instructions in all kinds of different languages, I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. Gonna throw that over there. Okay. It's stuck on something. Alright, there we go. Oh wow. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in a second. Um, I did not expect that when I took that CPU up. But uh, let's try and get this heat sink out of here. Arr, get out of here! So it looks like I had to bend this thing a little bit because it was not coming up. I'll put that to the side over here. And. Here is the heat sink. It's almost an exact copy of the older generation of heat sinks for the Phenom. As you can see here, hold on, let me grab the Phenom heat sink because I have it right over in this direction. Again, it's almost an exact copy of heat sink. But, um,. With this one, I took off the shroud, the plastic shroud, so I can remove the fan. Um, that is somewhere over here. I don't know where I put it, but I have it. Uh, and I didn't expect them to have such a basic heat sink for an 8-core processor. Well, I don't know how hot it's going to get, so it's probably more optimized than previous generations as far as temps go. So we shall see in a bit. Now, what I was talking about, um, which really made me confused, is that they don't have a padding down here like the other CPUs, like the Phenom. They usually come in plastic, but they have like the the um, pins inside of a padding. So, yeah, um, good thing I didn't grab this thing out of there like, like a madman, because I probably could have potentially bent one of the pins, but as I see here, um, none of the pins are bent. Here's the CPU itself, the backside, little FX sticker. There we go. Sorry, I'm at an angle here, so it's kind of hard for me to get the these things in frame correctly. So yeah, that's 
the unboxing of the FX CPU, the three, I mean the eight, three twenty. So yeah, gonna put it inside the computer and see how it runs. So see you guys later. And here are the temps. It usually stay around. 25 to 30 ish you see right there it's going down to 26 but yeah um they're pretty low um compared to my phenom processor because this is clocked to 4.1 gigahertz right now and um i have clocked it to um 4.6 but i have to always pump up the voltage and that would make it even hotter so yeah um i have to probably get a better cooling system if I want to like pump it even higher but yeah it gets really hot when it's really high up there in the um, Hertz so yeah um, here are the temps and there you go it's running eight logical cores and four physical cores and everything's nice smooth and buttery oh here's my Windows um, thingy index reading this is what I get in Windows oops I didn't mean to do that but yeah so far it's great runs Battlefield just fine and it it actually uses all cores when rendering video inside of Sony Vegas so yeah that's pretty awesome yeah um, thanks for watching um see you guys later I'm gonna end this video right now